today on Fat Life. The legend himself, Wolfgang Park. You get all these recipes I cook for the Oscars. Look at it. Hello. Hello. We actually have a ton of glitz and glamour to get to, and that, of course, includes the wonderful Wolfgang Park in our kitchen. Oh, yeah. Giving us a sneak peek at what he's making for the governor's ball, and he'll have the recipes for your award show party. What are we making today? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can make at home a chocolate cake. So see that? Look at that. Hello. We are back, and it would not be the Oscar show if we didn't have the chef from the Oscars official after party, the governor's ball. That's right, you guys. Please welcome back to the legend himself, Wolfgang Pop. <laughs> Excited. Chef, what are we making today? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can make at home a chocolate cake just the same way I make it for George Clooney <gasps> or for Angelina Jolie oh. or oh. Kate Blanchett. Yeah. I think Kate Blanchett might win. What do you think? I think so too. We just got that prediction earlier yeah. in the show. I thought so too. I yeah. think Jennifer Lawrence won already last year. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, one thing. So George have... Clooney eats this? George Clooney. And Angelina yeah. Jolie. Angelina yeah. Jolie. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So he I got like, me a George Clooney. I feel Clooney. like I'm so If you have George Clooney over at your house, you yes. know what to make for him. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure your husband is not home. She doesn't cook. She doesn't cook. <laughs> I need you to come over one I know. Okay. Wait, so Chef, how long have you had the privilege of doing well, the Governor's Ball? This is the 22nd year we are wow. doing this. Wow. Do you know Juliana's been doing the Oscar for 15, 15 years? 15, and I've interviewed him many times. Yeah. Many I know, times. I know, I know, and I see here on the red carpet. So we are doing it. We started at the Shrine Auditorium, and now the last 18 years, I think we are doing it at Hollywood and Island. Yeah. Where I built a big kitchen, and I have... 300 chefs in two different kitchens wow. on each side of the room, wow. plus 600 waiters and busboys and wow. bartenders. Wow. So it's a whole army to serve because everybody comes out hungry, everybody wants to eat, yes. mm -hmm. so we want to serve everybody right away. Yeah. What, are you, what else true. are you making besides chocolate? Oh, oh my God, we make a lot of different stuff from chicken pot pie to macaroni and cheese. We have a big sushi bar. We make the chinois lobster and a little grilled lamb chop with a little cilantro mint vinaigrette. We're going to make place short ribs, a lot of different fish. Yeah. I'm getting hungry. Me too. I'm going to get a chef coat and okay. sneak in the back. Is this the largest <laughs> group of people you've ever cooked for? No, no, no. This is not you've the largest. I, look, I cooked for the Grammys once for 4,500 wow. people. Get out! Wow. And one time for the How Republican do you find a that big? <laughs> I bought two pots. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let me show you what everybody loves. We make it every year. Okay. Is our molten chocolate cake here. So Ooh. you whisk some eggs and egg yolks with some sugar here until it gets fluffy, until it probably triples in volume. And then use some chocolate. I used bittersweet chocolate. And you melt it over a... Like a double boiler. A double, double boiler. boiler. So that way you don't burn the chocolate. Okay. See that? And then while that is melting... Okay, you work a little bit? Yes, I'm okay. going to work a little bit. You have to put the... You have to work. The put a little flour yes. in here. Oh, look, you talent. All right. I can beat okay? Yeah, you can beat okay. I'm a good beater. You have to beat. You have to well, beat. I want to ask a question because we're, me and Julia are both debating over here. There's not, is there anything special about that bowl? Just it's a glass bowl and melt and yeah, over just boiling water? No, yeah, yeah. Just a regular glass bowl or you can use a stainless oh. steel bowl. Okay. So I just want to make sure. Or oil or anything in there. So you it. mix the butter, a little butter and a chocolate butter. together. Okay. Wow, this smells so oh, good. Oh, my gosh. That is very well mixed together. So now okay. what we do, we put it in molds here. Let me take this off. And you spray these little cups. You spray it with a little non-stick thing. Okay. So now go like this. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right, and fill them up. Mm -hmm. All right, wow. so it's so easy. And then you cook them for about 10 minutes. And be sure not to overcook them, so that way the inside stays a little liquid, so it's really So when delicious. you break into it, it sort of so comes in, out. Exactly, okay. like you can see, like in one like this one, so what that one. So then, for the Oscars, what we do, we actually serve it. Then we put a little whipped cream on top, cream. once they're cooked. So we cook them for about 10 minutes. Yes. A little whipped cream. Love whipped cream. Oh my Love gosh. whipped cream. All right. I love anything and then, you put on anything else. And this then, is amazing. <laughs> you know, we make 5,000 of this chocolate Get Oscars. Out. Yeah. You can eat them. 5, you want to bite them? All right. Okay. Okay, but <laughs> it's chocolate. It's good, right? No, eat you it. said you, you didn't uh, get an Oscar, but you ate it. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we serve that just like that. Everybody going to get from us 
We give everybody an Oscar, you know, not only just the oh. people. Yeah. Everybody's a winner. Everybody, oh, we want right. everybody it to win. It makes it look easy. You, you did really do. Really it's a chef. Today. Can we taste it? Okay, all right. Absolutely. Okay, so let's Thanks taste for it. <laughs> okay. I'm not really done. I'm going to pick it up from here. Okay, no, I can unload you one from here if you want okay. to. Oh. Okay, now take it from Joey, here. Joey, you're getting but excited. You're prematurely eating. I wanted the whipped cream. <laughs> oh, that's oh, right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, now, look at that. Oh. Give me a knife. Knife. Yeah, sorry. Oh, here you so go. So can we get a close-up in here? Look in here. So see that? Look at that. Hello. Oh. Oh. oh, boy. Oh. Come to Mama. Come to And mama. now you put a little whipped cream on top. Or a little vanilla ice cream. Maybe a few berries if you want a diet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. That's if you're on a diet. Diana. Wait, let's go. Uh, let get her a I'm spoon. on the diet. Just give me the chocolate. Okay. Thank a you. chocolate diet want... is a good yeah, diet. Yeah, chocolate diet. Yeah. yeah. I love it. This is so oh, fun. All right. You make it look so easy. It's you, actually well, not that what? difficult. This, it's simple. That's you, true. It yeah. is. Well, it's thank you. Simple. Thank you for this trick. And we have oh. Chef Wolfgang oh, helping right. us with party snacks later on the show. Amazing. So you want to stick around for that. But we are serving up more Fab Life right after the break. Let me show you how I make my upper bite. If you only diet, then add a little butter to it. We are back in the kitchen with Chef Wolfgang Puck. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so today we're actually doing something inspired by the Oscar nominee movie. Bridge of Spies. The Bridges of Spies, and we make the Bridges of Pies. <laughs> <laughs> so it's I like that. it's I much that. tastier than the spies. So. I agree <laughs> so what pies are we making today? Okay, we're gonna show you one of my favorite pies. It's our upper pies, upper pie with dried fruits in it, a little bit of booze in it, a little calvados okay. or cognac, okay. and a little vanilla. Ooh. It's really delicious. Yes. And on top of it, you can make it at home. Oh, if you okay. go to WolfgangBuckCookingSchool.com, you get all these recipes, all the recipes I do at the Oscars, from the chicken pot pie to macaroni and cheese to <laughs> pastas, risottos, everything Ow. so easy and so simple. Now, let me show you how I make my upper bite. Okay. So that's a pie dough. You can buy it or you can make it at home. It's really easy. And then here I have apples. I use Granny Smith apples. I saute them a little bit. Then you leave the skin on or off or a little bit of I, I take it off because sometimes the skin gets too tough in there, uh, you know. But you can leave it on if you like it, so it's okay. Then I put a little brown sugar in here. You saute it in the butter? In a little butter. In a little yeah. butter, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. A little bit of ginger. Oh, Ooh, ginger. Brown ginger. Huh. And a little bit of cinnamon. Oh. Wow. So that way you get a lot of flavor. A little bit of vanilla extract or vanilla bean. All right, so we mix that really well together. So that way, you get this delicious caramelized flavor in your pie. The color is so beautiful. The, the color great. looks good yeah. already. And then, some dried fruit, if you like to. Put some apricot, raisins, anything you have in your house. Ooh, That's gonna make right. it really juicy too and tender, huh? Exactly, ah. they get really tender in here. If you, if you want a diet, then add a little butter to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little butter. All Just right. a little. Throw the whole thing in there. Okay. After the Oscars, but you know. I think people get intimidated by making pies at home. Like, would you ever bake a pie, Juliana? No, um, <laughs> because I'm scared of all things baking. Uh, okay. But, you know, but this may, he does make it look very easy. You, you know, do. Like I could handle One this. of the reasons I started my online cooking school, so people actually can see me how to do the thing from yeah. A to Z. Uh, you know, in a cookbook, you never can agreed. read it. Yeah. Yeah. You never, agreed. you always guess, what does he mean yeah. with that? Yeah. Uh -huh. But... You What's know, that? on the online cooking school, you see me doing it. And I did is every recipe. Dough? What is this? That's alcohol. Mm. It's it calvados. Yeah. Yeah. Like a little upper brandy or nice. calvados. All right. Okay. So Great. now, if you want to, you let that cool off a little bit. Okay. You know, don't put it in too hot. Fill your pies up with the apple. Look at that. Mm. You don't need to pre-bake the shell? No, you don't pre-bake the shell. Really? You, I, always thought you, I always thought you had to pre-bake no, the shell. No, no, no. You can just cook it just like that. So. And then you actually created the lattice top so that goes on top, I right? I created the lattice part. You can see that. Look at that. Wow. So if you so roll out the, the dough here, you cut it in strips, and then you just make it like a lattice, you know, yeah. like you would braid something or whatever. 
Or, or if you don't want to do that, <laughs> you just yeah, what's the walk. other alternative? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> These ladies are going to buy it at the genius. store. Do you sell you this, know, this you, you, watch, you watch me on my cooking school or you call me over. There you go. Oh, that's what I'll do. <laughs> and then they're going for option three. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're calling you over. So if you don't want to make a beautiful lattice like that, which is really easy. So when you make it, put it on a sheet, pan or whatever, and then you can turn it over like that and put it on. Oh, hello. Oh. That's cool. Oh, that's that is so much easier. Look how good yeah. that is. Or if you don't have that, you just put that on top and cut the sides around. Okay. Oh. With the knife, oh. so that would be nice too. I yeah. love it. It's Beautiful. Cool. It's really easy. And then we preheat the oven to about 350. And that's so simple. And then you can serve it with a little whipped cream, a little ice cream, cut the sides off here so you don't have too much dough hanging all over in your stove. And that's it. So now you have a beautiful pie oh here. Oh. And what a great idea for a national Oscar party because yeah. then everyone can sort of serve themselves yeah. and exactly. get a taste of everything. Well, thank you so much for being here, Wolfgang. And if you'd like the chance to win a year subscription to Wolfgang's online cooking school, head to fablifeshow.com to enter. And while you're there, of course, check out all of today's recipes. Now, our party's not over, so stay with us. All right. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm shaking. All right. Oh, and a huge thank you to Wolfgang Puck for showing us delicious snacks from our Oscar party. And, of course, to florist Mark Held for those beautiful florist arrangements. And, of course, to psychic intuitive Mary Ocino for amazing Oscar predictions. Gosh, you are my rock. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, and for the recipes, floral arrangements, instructions, and fashion tips from our worst to best looks, go to fablifeshow.com.